We're here at SLC's Launch Zone for Mass Exodus. Students from the School of Fashion, Creative Industries and the Theater School have been working hard for the past seven months to put this event together. The third floor was home to the exhibit put together by fourth year fashion communication students. For the first time ever, the show's runway was on the beach. The six o'clock show featured 15 collections chosen by Todd Lim, Ryerson alumnus and this year's curator. I looked for collections that presented an individualistic idea. I looked for students' work that was trying to propose something new. Students who are presenting a unique idea or vision and who had something authentic and personal to say. That was my goal. And, I, and that should be every fashion student's goal when they're creating. The creativity in this year's Mass Exodus team has been put to work over the entire school year. Dylan Quaz, the show producer, is proud of how far they've come. Everything went so smoothly, freakishly smoothly, um, but I'm so happy, honestly. It's been an amazing experience. I think my team has worked so hard and they've dedicated and lived and breathed Mass Exodus, and I think we're all very happy about what happened. With a ton of outfits coming down the runway, one of the most impactful collections was Justine Latour's Au Naturel. Her models wore clothing that was aimed to show the female body without sexualizing it. Um, so I really wanted to create a collection that kind of displayed the body not in a sexualized or objectified way, whereas women are often, especially in fashion, women are often shown that way, and rather show them in a way that's more um, beautiful and natural. And so that was kind of the idea behind it. The 28th annual Mass Exodus Fashion Show marks the end of the designer's undergraduate career at Ryerson. For the eye-opener, I'm Zainab Seydoun.